Okay, so today we're going to learn about Benjamin Franklin. Uh, many of you have heard about him. Uh, you've probably seen him on a $100 bill. Very famous um, politician and uh, inventor as well. So we're on page 101. So just follow along with me. Okay. It says Benjamin Franklin, Young Apprentice. A young apprentice is... Um, someone who learns a skill or a trade from someone who's more experienced in that industry or that field. So Benjamin Franklin was a remarkable man with a wide range of talents. As a printer and a writer, he helped to shape the ideas of American colonists. As a scientist and inventor, he conducted important experiments and created useful tools such as bifocals, glasses, uh, and the Franklin stove. As a civic leader, means a political leader, he set up America's first public library and fire department. He was born in the city of Boston in 1706. Benjamin Franklin came from a large family. He had 16 brothers and sisters. His father's job as a candle maker earned the family enough to live on. Still, the Franklins didn't have enough or could not afford to send their bright son, Benjamin, to college. Instead, Ben needed to learn a trade so he could earn a living. A trade is a skill. It's another word for a skill. Okay. Uh, we're going to flip to page 102. Okay. Look at the pictures up, uh, uh, up top right here. Okay. We're going to look at those. When Ben was an apprentice... To his brother and master, he was not always treated well. Even as a teenager, Ben Franklin showed sharp wit, meaning he was very sharp and uh, smart in his newspaper articles, which readers enjoyed. Okay, now we're going to read the main paragraph, okay, on page 102. When Ben Franklin turned 12 years old, only 12 years old, he did what many young people his age did. He became an apprentice. In the 1700s, young people learned trades by becoming apprentices to skilled masters. They might learn to make shoes or build furniture or bind books. An apprentice left home to live and work with a master trade person, working without pay for up to seven years. Can you imagine that? Not getting paid for doing your work and your uh, kids about your age. Um, it's hard to imagine for us right now because it's not the it's not like that these days. Um, so working without pay for up to seven years, he or she would receive food, clothing, and shelter. At the end of the training, the apprentice was ready to start a career. Benjamin and his father decided that he would learn the printing trade, it means making newspapers, printing newspapers out. He apprenticed by his older brother, James Franklin. James Franklin ran a shop in Boston, which he printed a popular newspaper as well as pamphlets and posters. Working for him, Ben learned to set type, take metal letters from cases and arranging them in frames into words and paragraphs. He learned to ink the type and print pages one sheet at a time. Now we're on page 103, okay? You guys can look at the pictures um, at the top of the page. I'm going to read the caption right below the pictures in purple. Ben abandoned his apprenticeship and sailed away from Boston at age 17. Within a few years, Ben Franklin owned a successful printing business in Philadelphia. Okay, now I'm going to read from the main paragraph. Ben's life as an apprentice was not easy. The work was hard and the hours were long. Sometimes his brother would yell at him or even beat him. That was not unusual for those times. Still, Ben felt that his brother did not always treat him fairly. Ben did learn to be a printer. For a time, he even helped run his brother's business. He also began writing articles for the newspaper using the pen name of Silence Dog Good. Or do good, sorry. Okay. Even though Ben was a teenager, 
With little education, people loved the clever things he wrote about the colonies. When Ben was 17, he decided that he was ready to set out on his own before his seven-year apprenticeship was complete. In those days, apprentices did not break their arrangements, so this wasn't a usual thing to do. So what did Ben do? He hopped a ship to New York City to look for work. Soon he moved on to Philadelphia. Using the skills he had learned during his apprenticeship, Franklin found work at a local print shop. Later, he sailed uh, to Great Britain to learn more about printing, the printing business. Finally, Franklin returned to Philadelphia. Through hard work, he built a successful printing business there. While Franklin explored interests in many other fields, printing and writing were always important to him. He became famous for the columns he wrote and the witty sayings he published yearly in Poor Richard's Almanac. Brent Franklin became a symbol of genius and spirit to the, of the hard-working American colonies. So at the bottom of the page, it says, think about it. Based on the story, what qualities did it take to be successful in American colonies? As you read the chapter ahead, think about what Benjamin Franklin's story tells you about the colonial society.